hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen. The picture you paint, it ain't what it seems. It is. Hi, everyone. It's Blue. Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on my Twitch and my other YouTube channel. Those links are down below. Also, my Patreon, where I have more content on there that I don't post here. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Drake Family Matters. And if you want to see most of the lead up to this, that's posted on Patreon. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. Let's speak on percentage. You Hope you enjoy. In this song, you shouldn't start by saying, Nigga, I said it. I know that you mad. I've emptied a clip over friendly or jazz. You mentioned my seed and I deal with his dad. I gotta go bad. I gotta go bad. Mm, mm. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, well, we are already coming in super strong. Um, again, I ref I referenced reacting to at least like four of the videos before this on Patreon, so I have a little bit of context at this point. But oh my goodness, he kind of just said that about Cole. Yeah, so I guess he's doubling down on, you know how you kind of call me cheesy and corny and like I couldn't really bring it past being PG? Yeah, if anything, that might be a little bit more on like J. Cole's side, not because he's calling him cheesy and corny, just he might be the one who said that he wants peace, but I actually never said that, so here's my response. Um, I also, re um, it's a very interesting way to open because the very last response that I listened to was by Kendrick, the Euphoria 616, where he kind of points out that he really wants Drake and he's speaking as a whole community, like we all want you to stop saying that word, um, and he opens up the song by saying it, so that's kind of the... going back and forth at dissing mostly Kendrick saying um the women that you have around you are like not even women and just kind of diss him for that you don't even practice what you preach so you might be calling me out for what I do but if you're saying it's because I'm mixed or I'm not even black what's your excuse because that's all that you say about yourself is that you are this but look at who you look at the women that you go for so what is what is that what's your excuse and hit vanilla cream to help out with yourself i think also uh, bobby shit i want to know what whitney need all that puppy love was over in y'all late teens why you never hold your son and tell him say cheese we could have left the kids out of this don't blame me you a dog and you know it. you just play sweet your mm. baby mama cash is always screaming save me you did it dirty all your life you trying to make peace what? i heard one of them little kids might be dead Free. Oh he's like laughing when he's saying that also he was kind of called out twice in two separate songs for sneak dissing was, he's not being sneaky about it now he's being very clear um one of your kids might not even be yours I mean, talking about calling him out for not being a father to his own child, and then he calls him out and saying, that might not even be yours. Yo man, a little K, we call that shit a mini Drake. He always said I overlooked him, I was staring straight. These bars go over Kenny head no matter what I say. I know you like to keep it short, so let me paraphrase. New World <gasps> Smoke with Abel hit us with the serenade. Niggas say, uh, uh, almost started reaching for my ways. Draw, draw, draw. I'm so dumb. I was just like, this car being crashed is so random. Why is he towing a car? Thank goodness I can keep like six albums in my brain. Six total. I love artists and I can't tell you what their al albums look like. And oh my gosh, I think that's the car from like 
one of Kendrick's albums. I thought it was so random at first. I was like, wait, is this a reference to, um, yeah, he's crushing him. And he has kind of already made constant, like, short jokes. You're short. You're not even big. You're not even tall. Stand up to me. You have to look up to me whenever you talk to me. Like, he's making a lot of them, but he always does in a different way that it technically doesn't really get old because he's doing it new. Like, he's not saying the same line. Look, if Drake Shooter's doing TikToks, nigga, really shooting in your gang. That's peace, brother. Y'all ain't getting shit shot. Nigga, can't listen to the stick talking. Falsetto saving for a hip hop, nigga. You don't even be at home, dog. You a souvenir out of gift shop, nigga. <gasps> Yeah, I think that he's kind of just making fun of someone like Rick Ross earlier whenever he had referenced um, basically people being 50 years old coming into this battle, kind of being irrelevant, like what are you doing, sit down, like you know, retire, um, but now in this one it's kind of making fun of him for saying, oh yeah, you have so much land, you have so much of a house that people get lost in it, people get lost on their way to you and you have to pay them to come and visit. I'm. I have to keep people basically off of me, like I'm relevant, you're alone, you're old. Kid, man, city van, we'll pop the latch and make the door slide. Tears running down my cheek, laughing at you, pussy dying. It's a war cry. We can music getting played in all the spots where boys got a little more pride. That's why all your friends dip into Atlanta playing just to find a tour guide. Able run your fucking bread, need to buy some more chains for some more guys. Let me find another oh. street nigga I could take to the game court side. Let me get a use for Rory for a rapper, take the nigga on a horse ride. Oh my gosh. Take a spotlight off the fact the boss is a drug down low, punk sissy from the north side. I almost forgot that the weekend's name is actually Able, but um kind of came after him. I feel bad that I don't know all the disses and everyone he's coming after. I've kind of covered it a little bit better in my Patreon video, which sounds like I'm just trying to get you to go there, but really, um, I don't know all of the references with this video that I'm starting off with, but um, I know that he called out Abel, which is The Weeknd. Uh, thankfully, I know that. And I also know that The Weeknd is from Canada, so I guess he just has beef with him too, which is interesting because I would think that you would probably get the same type of insults with each other that everybody's coming after you for, you both probably share that. So you would think that you would actually be cool with each other. But he's kind of calling him out and saying, hey, I'm more real than even you, so you shouldn't even be saying anything to me because you literally come into the city that you're from, get the money, and then leave. Rock him, talking shit again. Gas because you hit my being first, nigga. Do the math who I was hitting in. I ain't even know you rest still because they're only talking about your fit again. Probably got to have a kid again for you think of dropping any shit again. Even when you do drop, they gon' say you should have model because it's mid again. Smoking oh my gosh. Put you on the first one trying to get it in. Ask Fring if this a good idea the next time you mm -hmm. cut it in a bed again. Shit, leave and tell your leader boy alone for you get your head split again. Pluto shit made me sick to my stomach. We ain't never really been through it. Lena Wayne, he a fucking lane, so I know he had to be an influence. Well, good thing I know, like, Rihanna because Fenty literally use her makeup. Um, and I know that Drake had a huge crush on her, so I guess he's kind of calling out ASAP Rocky for, hey, hey, I know that you can make fun of me for, you know, at the end of the day, getting Rihanna, having a baby with her. Like, everyone knows that that was Drake's dream girl, but like, okay, congratulations, you got to have a baby with her, but at the end of the day, I guess I still kind of feel like I win because you got her second. These niggas had a plan and they finally found a way to rope you into it. Two separate albums, this and I just did a camp to it. Nigga skim through it. Me and Savage had a hose dripping where it shows. Almost had a swim to it. K dot shit is only hitting hard when baby King put his pen to it. Ross calling me the oh. white boy and the shit kind of got a ring to it. Cause all these rappers waving white flags while the whole fucking club sing to it. Murder scene on your man tonight, then come to vigil with the candlelight. Body at the fucking body and you know Rick reading my Miranda right. Him calling them out and kind of just wearing it like not like a badge, but a little bit saying, oh, you know, this, calling me white boy over and over again almost kind of has a ring to it. One, because none of you can come up with anything clever than just saying that I'm not black, so good for you all having the same diss. Um, but also because he's saying you all would rather just join in a club waving white flags, so he's playing on it, but also kind of just saying that it's it almost sounds like you're surrendering. So I thought that that was really clever. Hey, Kendra just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. We <laughs> Cause I wanna talk to the man of the house West Coast niggas do phase, right? Come get this ass whooping, I'm handing them out You wanna take over for real? Then come get his legacy out of my house A cease and desist is for hoes You can't listen to lies that come out of your mouth You call the two-pack estate 
I love that he also changed up the beat again. The first part, second part, and now I guess this will be the third part where he just has a completely different tone and he's kind of coming in at a different angle. He's like, okay, well now that I've skimmed through all of my other disses because you guys don't even matter enough to get your own song because I don't really care, back to Kendrick. Um, and so the energy's crazy because he's like, wait, I'm the one who's... Um, you ran and cried and tried to get me in trouble for doing something with two Tupac's rights. And then on top of that, I think the one that really stood out to me is, um, where's your uncle? Because <laughs> I want to talk to the man of the house. I don't really think that you need that much background. Like, I don't know if there's like a thing that his uncle did. I think it's just a diss. I think that it's just, it is what it is. Maybe there's some extra stuff to it. But even if you don't know it, you can, you can hear how that sounds. You get it. We already know it's a 20v1. We already know why you went number one. It's clearly because of the boy. The honorable thing is to give me the loop. You write about for the big three. It's only <laughs> big D in this video proof. My son should go play at the park. <laughs> Two light skin kids, the shit will be cute. Unless you don't want to be seen with anyone that isn't blacker than you. We get it. Oh, oh, oh no, I can't. Wow, what a response to constantly being told you're not black or you're white, you're white. And then him calling him out for saying, yeah, but you, you like white. Like you, you're... At least I I am embracing something. I'm honest about here I am, and you can say that, and I'm on stage. But you're hiding the women that you cheated on your wife with that are probably white. He's also calling out again that you're you're only relevant and you only got to where you were because you had to kind of leech or climb or somebody had to hand it to you. Whereas I guess he's kind of saying I actually did get here on my own, and in fact you're not respecting the fact that I'm part of the reason why you are where you are. Unless you don't want to be seen. With anyone that isn't blacker than you, we get it, we got it. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, we get that you like to put gin in your juice, we get that you think that you bishop and juice. When you put your hands on your girl, is it self-defense because she bigger than you? Your back is up against the curb. You digging for dirt, she be digging for proof. Why did you what? move to New York? Is it because you live in that bachelor life? Proposed in 2015, but don't want to make her your actual wife. I'm guessing this wedding ain't happening right, because we know the girls that you actually like. The darkest secrets are coming in light. It's all on your face like what happened to Mike. Oh, shit. I feel like throughout this whole thing, it was even the first time I'm realizing Kendrick is even married. But oh my goodness, you learn a lot about people when they're digging up each other's stuff, because not only is he married, but he kind of said, hey, why did you move away? Um, why did you propose in 2015 but you still aren't married? Oh, you never really planned on it. You just wanted to propose to look a certain way, to have that certain image, to kind of seem like you're rapping about what you're saying and what you like, but you're actually on the side doing all this stuff and you're even making her miserable. She's crying for help in all of her posts. You don't even maybe live together anymore. Like, he's just really, hmm, what are you doing? Like, he's his marriage counselor or something. The darkest secrets are coming in light. It's all on your face like what happened to Mike. Oh, shit. It's all making sense. Maybe I'm Prince and you actually Mike. Michael was praying his features would change. So people believe that he's actually white. Top will make you do features for change. Get on pop breakers and rap for the whites. And wait, you say your brother Jermaine, but you want him to stay out of the light. Oh shit. I don't know if that's a reference to J. Cole because that's his name, right? J. Cole, Jermaine. You said that your brother's Jermaine, right? Or is that like... I don't know all of Michael's siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's like double meaning, but I definitely at least know the J. Cole. Whereas, yeah, they probably used to be cool with each other and used to even say that. But now maybe you're even like Michael, assuming he's also talking about how you're ashamed of your own brother or you don't want that to come to light. Maybe it's even your own name and your own features because, oh yeah, that's right. You, you, must, you must be more like Michael who... And then to also say it's showing on your face because... He started looking different over the There's no way to hide, there's no way to hide, you know what I mean. They hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen. The picture you paint, it ain't what it seemed. It is. He really said, Oh, in case all of you missed the whole something something hit your wife, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I finish it that way. You had to hire a whole crisis management team. For the fact that you beat on your that's crazy it's also crazy to think that wait that's just now coming out in the disc he really actually might have been honest whenever he said hey I didn't want to go this far I kind of wanted to keep it PG but you asked for it because you're bringing up you know you're the one who's bringing up stuff so okay and now I kind of believe him because if he was saving that that does make me think that that's why he didn't say it before because he was like no that's too far so that's um yeah really curious what 
uh, I almost said J. Cole. Really curious what Kendrick would have responded to that. And I don't know if I'm reaching too far with the whole changing your features, but it, it definitely makes me think he meant something else. Just maybe I shouldn't go into it. Um, so yeah, I just know that there's a lot more to it, and I apologize if I missed a bit, but I do think that it was really good diss, and I look forward to uh, maybe watching another one after this one. I think I, that you all enjoyed it, and thank you again so much for watching. Bye, bye, baby.